Girl, I slayed and I killed. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. It's the first time by you absolutely welcome you now we're doing this channel girl. Today we're going to be giving you guys a full oh my gosh, full on hair tutorial stroke installation so sit down relax with a cup of tea girl with some biscuits you know what i mean so today we're working with eva weeks and this hair came per plucked per bleach per everything nothing off honestly speaking you just need to do your own pattern yourself because it comes with a free part so gorgeous the lace is the most hd lace i've tried on anyways i did a little bit more tweaking on tweaking of this hair that's why you can see it looks more like plucked because i plucked it a little bit more and now it's time to cut this hair i'm just doing the basics you know what i mean if you don't have a hair clipper it's completely fine to use a pair of scissors trust me i do not have any sharp pair of scissors in my house that is why i do not even bother because <laughs> girl i was not about to you know mess up this hair and then for me to know where i wanted this hair to stop girl i had to just hold my wig head close to my head just so i know like what length i want the hair to be because if i was trying to cut it on my own head that would just not work i can just mess up the entire hair so um yeah you can see obviously struggling <laughs> <laughs> I could not just use a pair of scissors because mine was not sharp, but you can definitely use a pair of scissors anyways I'm using a trace method the trace method trace When you say trace is basically you tracing the hair all the way to the point where you want to cut it and then cutting right below the comb So you're literally like combing it all the way down See that's the best way to cut your hair if you want your hair to look as natural and you know to stop at the length You wanted to do the trace method it works perfectly Anyways, this is what I used and I used that, you see that black line there? That was the line I used to measure my own, like where I wanted the head stop. And it looks perfect, it looks so pretty, like this hair is gorgeous, I'm not even kidding. The head, it doesn't have like small, small streaks hanging out or something, like it's completely nice. All the lengths are literally equal, like you don't even need to do anything. Honestly speaking, this is like the best beginner friendly hair I can think of recommending to you, I'm not even kidding. This is the first time I'm actually telling you guys I'm recommending a hair company to you and I'm serious about it. I love this hair and I've been wearing it for a whole week it literally has been sat on my head guys i'm using remington this remington straight now see every product i'm going to use in this video or i've used in this video already is linked below there's a particular link i put there where it has like all the products i use so just go to that link and then find all the products i use it's time for the installation my camera knows see my camera knows how to just stop when <laughs> when it's supposed to be starting so i literally had no idea that it was not recorded but i just did the basics on my for my hair installation i have a full-on hair installation video just in case you guys have not seen it. i'm gonna link it down below and on the screen as well so all i did was let me just explain to you guys basically you cut the lace into like three parts or four parts so that you can easily like pull the pull on the lace then secondly you put the first layer of glue on your head allow it to dry completely put the second layer let it be a little bit tacky then put spray your freeze spray all you need to do is like spray the middle part and then and um, make it tacky and then place your wig on that middle part and then do the rest of the side of the hair when it comes to plucking and um, cutting the lace off you just do small small snap 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 straight instead of cutting a straight line because it doesn't it's not good to cut in a straight line it just looks very not natural now for cutting my ear section i just like to pack the hair like clip it all the way up so i don't end up cutting the hair itself and then i cut the lace right above the air, ear area so that's pretty much what i do and now like because the front was a bit too gluey you know there was so much glue on the front girl you don't want to be looking like casper i just had to do something about it so i used my you know um what's it called alcohol rubbing alcohol i got it from <laughs> the lower my style of me use my foundation to stipple onto my the front of my hair just to make it look natural i don't know if you can see the difference like it looked white before now it looks like it's coming off my scalp literally and then i'm just using some concealer down the center of my head and you know there's nothing much we can talk about here girl this is pretty much what i did to be honest and then it's time for baby hairs girls i don't do any serious baby hairs because i know my i have a very like square forehead i have do you know this male hairline where like the front is like straight then the sides are kind of like coming out and going back inside that's the kind of hairline like, natural hairline i have good sideburns you need to still do it properly they need to look flicky 
Okay, they add a different vibe to the look. Every single product I use, the Amazon link is down below. Just check, you can buy directly from Amazon wherever you are in the world. So definitely check um, all these products I'm using. The baby hair section is finally almost over. Now for my sideburns. Sideburns are different. Let me tell you why. Because this is the side where I always kill it. Like, if I, I don't know how to do baby hairs, but sideburns. <laughs> Girl, do you see that swoop? It's swooping. We're swooping the word. Okay. So I just going ahead to style this hair. I literally didn't even have to use a hair scarf, hair tie. I don't know you guys call it hair tie to even hold down this hair. That's to show you that this hair was it was it, it was like mama, not me, because I'm ready to be melted. <laughs> what I'm saying does not make sense. <laughs> oh my gosh! Please tell me this hair's girl. I slayed and I killed. It's from the company called Everweet. I don't know it's Eva or Eva. I don't know, but I think it's Everweet. 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 And let me just tell you all the details. You know, see, you know, every detail about this hair is gonna be in the description box down below, including the length, because obviously this was not the length. I had to cut it myself. So everything's gonna be linked below. Came with a few more things with some wig caps. Um, you know, undercut. Some instructions, a comb, it came with a comb, it came with some bobby pin. Thank you so much Ever Weeks for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love this hair. I, I'm not definitely not getting rid of this hair at all. And you guys, I've learned how to like wash my lace without like damaging the front. So I'm gonna teach you guys that in my maybe my next hair video. Tuning in today to watch this video. Thank you so much guys for almost 85 yeah, 84,000 subscribers I think we're about to hit 83,000 at the moment so like maybe by the time I post this video it'll probably be on like 84,000 I don't know how many thousands but to God be glory every glory all glory returns to God most high he's the one moving my channel man I pray about my channel so if you have a channel and you feel like you're not moving please pray about it anyways I see you guys in my next one I love you guys so much ciao catch me on my social media platforms subscribe Turn on your post notification bells and like and comment. I love you so much. Today's shout out goes to Ding Ding. Yes. Don't forget to comment down below to be featured in a shout out on my video. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.